This is Eugene Panarukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell 7110, Dell 7110 Inspron laptop computer with a cracked screen. And I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on a Dell Inspron N7110. Okay, before we do anything, we want to remove the battery. And the way you do that, we flip the laptop over, we slide the two levers on the sides of the battery out, and then we slide the battery out. Okay, now while we are on the bottom of the laptop, I'm going to show you how to find the part number for this. It's right under the battery, and it says Dell Inspron N7110. Here's a good close-up. All right, that's where you find the part. Now we flip the laptop over and go to the next step. Before we go any further, what we want to do is show you the tools we use. We have a small electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, 1 stands for size. And this is the one we're going to probably be using most of the time. A pair of metal tweezers to remove the screws that are stuck. And most times I use an X-Acto knife, but this time we don't have to because there's no screw covers to remove. Okay, in order to get to the screen, we need to remove the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, usually there are some screws that are holding it down. But in this case, in the case for most other Dell and Spron's computers that are newer as of early or as of late 2011, I'm losing track of time. There's no screws, you just snap the bezel off. And the way I like to do that is put my fingers on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and here listen for snapping sounds. And actually what works better with this laptop is do the same thing. Put the fingers on the screen side, but also put your fingernail on the edges or where the seam is and snap it off like that and it comes off really easily. So just depends on which laptop. So lift up from the back, just pull outward and use your fingernail to pull up on the seam. So I'll show you a couple more times and it's going along. Okay, so we keep going along. If you get stuck on a part, move on to a different part and come back to the part that you're stuck on. Okay, and we do the same thing here. Just pull gently. Try not to break the bezel. And the bezel comes off. All right, the next step here is to remove the screen from the screen assembly and the screen is mounted by, onto the metal mounting brackets on the sides. So there's some screws on the sides that you have to get to. And the way you do that is you tilt the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly. And I'll show you how to do that. The way we do that is we remove the two top screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets. Like so. Try not to lose the screws, as I almost did right here. Okay, once we do that, we still see that the screen is pretty tight. So I'm going to show you a trick I like to use, is the screws on the bottom that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. I loosen them. I don't remove them all together. I just loosen them. And now helping to tilt the screen forward. Two. There's three screws on each side that we loosen. And we try to tilt the screen forward a little bit again. And it appears that it's there's some adhesive or it's stuck with something. So we play around with it and 
You'll see that the decorative cover has come up, but that doesn't quite help us because the back of the screen assembly is still stuck on there. Okay, and I found out what the problem was. It snaps in the screen, snaps into the screen assembly, so you pull this plastic back on the side of the screen and it comes out. And let's see if that works on the side. Pull the plastic back and it comes out. So we can actually even tighten the screws on the bottom a little bit so that we don't break anything. So we just want to be able to reach the screws on the sides and that's it. Without breaking anything. Okay, so now that we have access to the screws, there's three screws on each side of the screen. And we remove those one. And two. Make sure your screen assembly is tilted back so you don't want the screen falling forward on you. Three. And that screw flew away, so be careful that your screw doesn't fly away. I have spares, but you probably don't, so be careful with your screws. Okay, one and two. And in order for the screw not to fly away, hold the back of the screen while you're removing the last screw. And three. Okay, now that the screen is loose, we tilt it forward very slowly. Make sure nothing gets stuck. And there's one connector on this side right here. So we want to remove the connector. And in order to remove the connector, there's an adhesive tape on top of the connector. We lift up this adhesive tape like so and then we lift up the video cable there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable and it's attached to the screen once we do that we pull the connector back and it comes out and there's some more adhesive here and we lift that up okay before we go any further i'm going to show you how to reconnect it because that's the biggest source of trouble that i see Okay, so when you slide the connector back in, you you feel you will feel a couple of clicks, and the connector should be tight. So let's get it close up. Okay, so this is a properly connected connector. So there should should not be a gap between the two sides of the connection in the seam. It should be tight. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this when you have it reconnected. Okay, now I'm back to work. Let's talk about the screen. We remove the connector again. And let's take a look at the screen. This is a pretty standard 17.3 inch LED screen. Should not have any trouble finding it. Okay, the part number is kind of hard to see it, but here it is. It's LP173WD1. That's what you're looking for. LP173WD1. And as with 99% of the 17.3 inch screens, the connector should be on the bottom left, but you should not have any trouble with that. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen. And what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation. And also we have a compatibility guarantee. We will, if the screen we send you is not compatible, we will replace it. And one final note, when you do receive your screen, the part number you receive most likely will not be LP173 WD1, but will be a compatible screen because there's five or six vendors that make exactly the same screen in their last focus. Let's get it back. Okay, camera's cooperating again. Okay, so you will probably receive a compatible screen, but it should work just fine. Okay, when you do receive your screen, make the connection 
as I told you, put the screen back into the screen assembly, put the screws in on the sides, and then put these screws in on top, and very important, make sure you tighten these screws at the bottom. Uh, make sure you don't forget. It's very easy to forget, and if you do forget, your hinges will wear down, and that's not good. Once you do that, snap the bezel back on, and that'll be it, and you should be good to go. Once again, my name is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.